Hey, man. Full report. Hey, nailed it. Hey, all right. We did a little research before this show. A little. For a, for an upcoming story in which... God damn. Thorobot. Yeah, Thorobot. Hey, that's pretty Both good. got yeah. it, man. Hell yeah. How's it going, Matt? <laughs> <laughs> it's going pretty good. Well, it's going pretty good in good. the free internet. Uh, yeah, right. Here, here we are broadcasting on, on YouTube. That's right. Well, I mean, we're not really broadcasting on YouTube. I mean, well, that's true. Really, we're putting a video. A yeah. video. There's a video. That's <laughs> we're going to do a little bit of YouTube. editing this to that, is, and then this it is will a, go on YouTube. It's not live. It doesn't cost us anything. But it doesn't cost us anything. It's not being regulated. No. We're, our content is available for everyone on the internet right now. The things on our channel, everybody can come see. In here. That's pretty incredible, Matt. Thorobot. <laughs> it is. It's great. So let's get into our first story. Yeah. Uh, first of all, yes. do you remember a little thing called Net Zero? I do. I do, Nick. Uh, so there was a time, this is going to blow some some minds under the age of 20, I think. Maybe 20. Well, I don't know what the cutoff was, but there was a time I'd where... I'd say uh, 24, 25, probably. Where America Online ruled the internet. Yeah. Where you had to You've pay, got mail. Oh, yeah. You had to pay a monthly service... To receive emails, be able to use uh, Instant Messenger. That's right. That was the biggest uh, mm -hmm. And reason. it was these little DVDs. That's right. That you would get. Go to like Target, mm -hmm. you know. And the DVDs around. And it was always like 6.0. Yeah. And then, ooh, AOL, 7.0. Right. And so it would just be an upgraded interface. Yeah. Know. And that's about it. Because your computer wouldn't just do Still this Still 56 its own. kilobytes Speeds a second. Speeds were so slow yeah. that downloading this sort of like. If you were lucky. Pulling it, uh, right. Pulling it off the uh, porn. Porn, porn was terrible. Yeah, good luck with that. On the old internet. Forget it. Forget it. I mean, and you couldn't... You, yeah, it just wouldn't happen. It just wouldn't happen. So, back in those times, <laughs> there was a, uh, there was a bit of a, a revolution that occurred, so to speak. And I actually like this, and I'm glad you brought this up, because it really kind of came out of nowhere, and at the time, it was one of those things where it was just like, huh, that's a good idea. We shouldn't have to pay for internet. Well, I don't know about you, Matt, but my internet cost me 65 a month, which here in Grand Junction, we're no. not on any fiber optics. It's nothing special. No, it's nothing special. By any means. No. Um, I feel as a consumer, you know, and as someone that dishes out the 65 a month, that hell, man, I should be able to hop on whatever website or your SoundCloud or YouTube that I'm using. The marginal speeds are not throttled. You right. have the same speed no matter what, whatever content you're looking at. If you're streaming video, it doesn't matter. It's not like cellular data. Correct. That where mobile data, where your your speeds can get throttled. It's not like that. I mean, that's something that we left to cellular carriers because that was, okay, that's a mobile device. That right. wasn't thought of before. Okay. So this thing has been in place for us. And it still, as of, you know, 8.40 tonight, you know. And, and maybe uh, for the next few weeks. Who knows? And, who knows? We we know so little about how this c could potentially affect what we do, and, and right. you know, there's a, there's a lot of speculation. So what we're talking about here is net neutrality. Before we get into net neutrality, though, there is net zero. So <laughs> back in the days of AOL, this you had an alternative. We had an alternative, and yes. it's called net zero. That's right. Now what they did was actually kind of genius. They offered you free internet, free internet, but when you would bring it up. You had you, to watch. You had to watch a video. You had to watch a video. You had to and watch a video. And then you had to watch countless ads that they would plug in at that. You Honestly, dude, I did a speed test. I remember being like 12 and doing right. a, a ping speed mm -hmm. test. And dude, I was hitting maybe 14 kilobytes a second. Right. Which was actually, you know what I mean? For, Not bad. Free it internet. Free. Hey. And it was free. Yeah. And it reached, it, it, it was far reaching. Mm -hmm. uh, my, my dad lived out in the hill country outside of Austin. Like... That's what he, he used, net zero. That's He's like, awesome. I'm not going to pay for this. Farmersonly.com. Yeah, That's never be lonely. Started. You don't have to be lonely <laughs> at farmersonly. No. Dot com. Never. So, uh, kind of an interesting thing to think about as we ease our way right into what is the apocalypse upon Man, us. Man, holy crap. Um, which, which is kind of, maybe that's over pushing it. We don't know what's going to happen here. But uh, as of today, this is the day that uh, net neutrality was repealed. That's right. So these things that have been put in place in the past to kind of make what we do, hopping on our phones, social media, what, any platform you use. What we have taken for granted for so long. Here are the things we have taken for granted. The things we didn't even know we had to worry about. <laughs> we didn't have to worry about them because net neutrality. Right. Thanks, Obama. 
2015, man. Yeah, dude. Seriously, Anyhow, no. Yeah. Um, so these there's a lot of stuff here that I'm not a journalist. You're not a journalist. No. We don't get paid to do this stuff. So some of this is, look, the big three things that, that stick out in this article from the New York Times to kind of help explain this a little bit, and I understand these concepts, Blocking, throttling, paid prioritization. Mm-hmm. So these are all terms you've Essentially heard. Essentially just all gatekeeping, right? Gatekeeping, right, right. And 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 monetizing. So think of like tollways. Yeah. Right. In this. But but the it's the internet highway. Yeah. So to speak. So it's kind of easy for me to understand some of this, but blocking so the blocking is internet service providers under net neutrality could not discriminate against any lawful content. Lawful content by blocking websites or apps. Yeah. Right. Okay. So that means you could see all this stuff as you wanted to, you know. Fair uh, enough, yeah. You know, I mean. If you don't like it, click away, right? right? Do you like masturbating? It's out there. I like masturbating. I mean, not right now, but I'm just saying. God damn it, Matt. But, but it's We're legal. like this far away from each other. I, well, I mean, I don't want to do it right <laughs> do now. Like masturbating? Do you like masturbating? <laughs> How do you feel about it? <laughs> throttling. Right, throttling. <laughs> right. <laughs> So, if you were masturbating, what? No. Um, so, throttling is <laughs> marijuana. <laughs> Service providers could not slow the transmission of data based on the nature of the content, as long as yeah, as long as, as, long it's, as legal. it's legal. Okay. Yeah. So, these are the things that were in place. Paid prioritization. Service providers could not create an internet fast lane for companies and consumers who pay premiums. Sure. And this a slow lane largely, for those who don't. You know, I just throwing it out there, porn industry, right? Well, and that's why I keep bringing up the masturbating thing because well, people know, like to do it. That's why it's called throttling. And well, exactly. <laughs> Sometimes no, you gotta go know. a little that's slower. The reason, but you know. But but no, this is not something. Well, you don't want throttling at all, right? Marijuana. So these these are the three things that the 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 rules the 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 basically these things were prohibited because of net neutrality. So you know, like. Under now that those things are gone, the baby you hear in the background, yeah, this might be blocked because there's children nearby, <laughs> right? So this could mm. potentially, you know, you you brought a story to my attention that I, I think is absolutely awesome. I had no idea that mm. you know uh, I've got a Facebook, you've got a Facebook, We've we all got YouTube. a Facebook, right, right, right. We just don't have to pay. To they use it actually now. are providing uh, mm. a resource, actually free music and sound effects, right, to video yep. creators to kind of combat their competition. Nick, that's that's uh, we're video creators. Whoa, weird! Like anybody could be a video creator. Anyone, and all literally. these sweet tools. The biggest thing to me on this mm-hmm. wasn't the effects and things like that because we like to run things pretty black and white. And and literally, this yeah, video is going to be in black and white. Yep. I mean, we actually live our lives in full color, like right now. I don't know. You can Not be either, watching. But... This is going to mess with your head because you're seeing us in black and white, but in real life, we're in color most of the time. I should right now like edit just having this like normal and then you should. Hey. So there's a little Wait. tip. Wait. All right. So anyhow, so this is cool, but the biggest thing to me was the free music. Oh, dude. Because it's not just it's That's pretty it's, big. it's not bum bum you know. bum bum It's not that Casio stuff. These are actually like <laughs> They artists. said, you know, you know, it's not, not well, it's not free artists. music archive. You know, which no, is No, but they, well, no, 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 they mean, did say like thousands of songs, right? No, no, I I'm I'm actually kind of bashing free music. I mean, oh, it's free right. music. It's terrible. It's what, it is. Why it's, oh and so this has God. probably got to be a little better. Yeah. I, I would think. I don't know. Well. Free music's free music, right? <laughs> That's right. Who knows? Yeah. Who knows? Well, and, you know. Could be, you know, the god of all Texas on a loop. Dude. Doing doing, doing lounge music Dang or something. Quack. 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 Which is which is cool because it's what they're trying to do here. Obviously, is is compete a little bit with YouTube. Yeah. Because the live feature on Facebook is actually pretty cool. It works out pretty well. Oh man, I see some weird shit. Yeah. Yeah. I also I'm on some weird shit on Facebook. I bet you are. So speaking of weird shit, uh, hey, I mean this this week this year has been weird. Yeah, been well, a really weird year for 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 women and and men. The, the, the whole human thing isn't going so well. human spectrum. We got a lot of sex abuse stuff. Dude. I mean, everybody is, is Dude, non-consensually I'm playing, I'm playing, fucking uh, everybody. through Call of Duty Advanced Warfare right now, and Kevin Spacey is just like, hey, how's it going? 
And I'm just like, oh, oh no, are you going to dip no, your finger in no, the pudding too? I'm like, God, man. Get out of my pudding. So Walt Disney just bought Fox. And I was just like, of course. Of course they did. I mean, net we neutrality was don't just even revealed. Need now we have to go into why this is a thing necessarily because I guess the only thing I I ask and I ask the audience too is what doesn't Disney own at this point? I think Disney kind of owns a little bit of everything. <laughs> multiple toes and multiple lakes, I'd tentacles. say. Tentacles. Tentacles, that's tentacles. right. Yeah. They have their tentacles and everything. Yeah. Everybody works for the mouse now. Damn. Everybody. Mm. I wonder so that what, was a, that I wonder was what Walt would think, right? I don't know if Walt would think. I don't know. I think if Walt had anything to say, it'd be something shitty about <laughs> the Jews. <laughs> Just be a laser yeah. beam through his eyes. Seriously. Right. Yeah. You'd see, like, Hitler youth in the background. <sighs> Damn, dude. So. Fucking Walt. Para- so, here's something that, that now we, you know, I don't know. Maybe there's maybe this has a Disney tie-in. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you know. I, who knows? If there's a cartoon ram somewhere, it's going to feel real bad about this. We like animal references, you know. We really do. So, we can't always time. bring you, you know, horse news or manis news, but... How about some sour rams testicles news? Yeah. Why sounds, not? Sounds huh? great. Sounds like uh you know what that sounds like, Nick, but sounds like Thorobot. <laughs> you got it, dude. Man, I'm gonna say this word all the time. So I feel like Bjork is just gonna be like oh, I hope she does. Like she just released a new head. album and she dude, have so, you listened to it? She is so weird. Have and you listened to it? I haven't listened to the album though. It's uh it's it's Bjork. Dude. Listen to it. I, I, will, I will. I've seen it's a video out, clip it's out from one of her songs. Sure. And that, it, it, her stuff's always kind of out oh, there, though. Oh, dude, absolutely. But, but God, she's just elfish. Her collaboration and... with Death Grips is I'm my sure. jam. You just want to put her in your pocket. You really do. Yeah. With some sour Rand's testicles. <laughs> so this comes to you from the home of Bjork, which would be Iceland. Yeah. Right. So this is a festival, or a... It's a feast. Yeah, it's, it's a, a traditional... Meal. traditional feast yeah. that happens shortly after the the the, the <laughs> christmas stuff that we do here hey. so this happens in january february time frame and it's called thorobla <laughs> did i did not sound better thorobla there you go you gotta, you gotta roll, you gotta it roll, it roll the r's thorobla that's right I, i'm not even gonna try it at this point yeah i mean i feel like i've killed it kind of <laughs> Anyhow, you might be asking yourself, why are we talking about a feast? And Well, because there's sour ram's testicles. That's part of the menu here. Right. Um, so, the, the Icelandic... This is like the, the best spam that you could ever, you know, ingest, right? I, I suppose. Only it's not even spam. It's not even like processed, dude. It's literally it's just... Stuff. I mean, this stuff, you look at it's it on sour. the plate, It's like pickled, right? I mean, that looks like a bunch of dirt. It is. It's pickled glands. I mean, this is beautiful. It is. So, I mean, they have... I, I could not imagine anything that survived this hellish foodscape uh is going to be a little off you know right so what are we talking about here we have uh so traditional thorobla <laughs> fair harkens back to the days before refrigerators so yeah this is all going to be smoked pickled dried whatever. yummy my favorite yeah uh so there there's a dish that's sour ram's testicles now they pickle it to essentially keep the bacteria away. You know, it's a... To keep the bacteria out of the testicles that you're going to ingest. <laughs> Yummy. Roll that one around yeah. in your head for a minute. There's a uh, there's a boiled oh. sheep's head that's uh, part of the menu, I believe. Yeah, which is a totally unheard of. I could... T- okay, you know, I could see that. you got to boil it. They pickle the glands really for several months. the brains in there. In way. I mean, this is disgusting. Yeah. I mean, but... Necessity, right? I mean, oh, it's dude. Iceland. It's not dude. like... Uh, culture, right? It, it is culture. People have been doing this for... So a long time. We won't dig into this very long. You know what people have been doing for a long time? What's that? Is doing stupid scary shit ass for money. parkour videos mm-hmm. for, you know, not substantial cash, but I, this is pretty substantial. Yeah, dude. This yeah. dude was about to score fifteen thousand dollars. Photo blood. <laughs> yep. Oh yeah. Great. Yeah, without doing that. Great. He's gonna drag great job. That, 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 yeah, awesome. Right. Great, great show. Right, right. That's, oh, man. That's where we're is it worth your life? Is it worth your life? So, Daredevil falls to his death from 62-story building. Ouch. This comes from the almost never credible New York Post. Man, if you ever say, you understand why I say that. I mean, it's just, <laughs> they're just shitty. Yeah. They are shitty. Yep. New York Post, you guys are shitty. I've seen your covers. You're shitty. But but this story's on their website, because why not? Yeah, so this sure. dude, 62 feet, right? Yeah. This is in China, right? It is in China. Uh, this guy has been doing parkour for, for quite a bit. He usually, well, there's video footage. Uh, there's not of him dying. You know, we don't go down that route. Google 62 feet and 
dude in China, and that'll probably do it for probably, you. That'll probably, probably so. get you there. But unless you watch this, like three he's weeks an acrobat, from. you know, he'd get on top of uh, skyscrapers, uh, large buildings, mm -hmm. and with a selfie stick and yep. film himself doing it. Twenty six years old. Yeah, twenty twenty six. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Could, I mean, could have been you, right? Uh, actually, could have been Wu. Wu Yongning is is the man who's no longer with us. Yeah, dude. Called himself China's first rooftopper. Mm -hmm. Which I always felt like a weather vane would be the first rooftopper. <laughs> Mary Poppins, dude. I don't think they did weather vanes in in, in China. No. Well, let's not assume. Let's not. Let's not. So yeah, so there's a viral clip going around. Yeah. Uh, that shows him on this the uh, the roof of a skyscraper. Oh, and... It just happened yesterday. It's already hit you know a bunch of views. Yeah. I was less interesting or less interested, I should say, in, in watching the actual video. Obviously. I don't necessarily like to watch death on video. It's not something I, I've seen, but I'm you can't just walk away, dude. You yeah. can't walk away from that and eat to. a sandwich. You know what I mean? Some people can, but um, there's enough bad nipples out there. Like I don't need to see this. Yeah, you know, I follow George Takai on on Facebook, and yep. he posts a lot, man. God, he's he definitely he, that guy is. You know, James Brown was the busiest man in show business. I feel like George Takai is like the busiest man in social media. Yeah. That guy is always posting on, I mean, all the time. So this morning, you know, I'm waking up doing my routine. I look down, scrolling through my feed per se. And he's like, let this, you know, be a lesson to others. And I'm just like, you know, how many videos? Are, I've probably seen over like 20, 25 videos. I'm serious. Like parkour stunts where I, the reason I watch them is you and I both have a fear of heights. You know? Yeah. Yeah. And when you this watch these things, my, my palms literally sweat. And I'm watching people just do these stunts that I would never, I could never uh, but this guy, you know, he's doing something risky. There's, it's, it's obviously dangerous. My, my brother does parkour, but not in the same sense. He's not climbing up buildings and, and hanging off of them and doing. Your you brother know. doesn't do $15,000 parkour. That's true. That's true. And so you might be saying, well, gosh, I mean, I don't know if that's enough to get me, but, but we are talking about China here. We don't really know his socioeconomic status, but sure. you could imagine things aren't real great if you're, uh, doing this sort of shit. Yeah. But, but there again, you know, I'm sure he did this stuff for fun, and the money would have just been wonderful. Yeah. A uh, bonus, but but again, he uh, was doing this. Here it is. Yeah. Never mind. You are one of those people in this world. You will do anything for your loved ones. Absolutely anything. He was doing this to propose to his mm. girlfriend. Apparently. Oh, what the fuck! The day after the challenge. Yeah. Oh, gross. He needed the money for the wedding, and for medical treatment for his ailing mother. Oh, you well, know, okay, dude. Safety first. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. This is probably not the way to do it. Uh, you know, of course. Who are we to? We're Americans. Our healthcare system sucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woo! I mean, it. Yeah. Marijuana. Marijuana. 